Okay, here's the test fixture. It's just a post on the board that lets me come in and drop on a washer, a protector, not too tight. Okay, now we've added guardrails to the side to ensure a nice clean roll. Position the board at a pretty steep angle, at least 60 degrees, and added marks every three inches so we can tell how far the ball is being rolled. Okay, this is Lexan, three inches. 6 inches, 9 inches, 12 inches, 15 inches, 18 inches, 21 inches, 24 inches, one more 27 inches. I guess I can't break them. Okay, now we'll do the same test with an acrylic plastic protector. Three inches, six inches, nine inches, twelve inches. Oh, it broke. Okay, I got another acrylic on there, and we'll do a close up this time. This is from nine inches, no break. And this is from 12 inches. No break that time. Try it again from 12 inches. Oh. Okay, now for the heck of it, I've stacked up two acrylic protectors. We'll see how that affects it. Here we are from 12 inches. No problem. 15. No problem. 18. No problem. 21, getting a little closer, 24, looks like we still have a winner. So two of them still aren't as strong as one piece of Lexan. Hey, this is a piece of an old plastic from an attack from Mars that I've cut and drilled to fit onto the rig. Okay, here we go with the original Williams plastic. Three, six, nine. It's got a little dent in it. 12, a little bigger dent. 15, 18, 21, 24, almost got the camera with that one, and 27. No breakage. Okay, now I put an acrylic plastic protector along with the Williams original plastic. Okay, here we go. I'll start out at six inches, nine inches. Oh, looks like it broke. How much protection did that really add to that plastic? 